Good afternoon everybody, how are we doing today? I hope you've had a fantastic day today, happy Friday. We are here this afternoon because we are going to do a reading for all you lovely rooster people and uh, find out how that week has been for you. So uh, what we're going to do is, same as always, I've got my uh, Chinese Oracle deck here and we are going to shuffle these up. We're going to pick three cards and then we're going to... Uh, give a brief reading of the week for you guys so let's get this started eyes closed shuffle 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 and we'll see where we get to <laughs> I'm thinking of investing in a card shuffler <laughs> because I really I just firstly let me just say doing it with your eyes closed is actually considerably harder than one first anticipated but I've also got nerve damage in my left hand so it's hard to actually feel and grip the cards and if I can't see where they're going because my eyes are closed but the thing is I need my eyes closed because I don't want to see the cards because I think maybe they'll influence me if I see a white one on the top I'll be more inclined to go oh stop there because it's white let's give people good news but it shouldn't work like that and it hasn't worked like that in fact i think it works really well and hearing the comments back from people i actually think that you know it, it is it is working and people are resonating with it so if we've got the system if we've got a tactic we may as well go for it right stick to what we know now yeah anyway i think we'll leave it there at that point and we're going to take that one from the bottom we're going to take that one from the middle and that one from the top so we've got a white white black not too shabby, not too bad, pretty good place, still in a pretty good place, moving into a bit of a questionable place. But let's find out where we're at, shall we? So that first card there, positive, rooster card, rooster for the rooster. How's about that, my lovely rooster friends? I see some romance, I see somebody may have met somebody. Somebody may be uh, talking to somebody right now that they quite like. And I think that you feel like you're in the limelight and you're feeling quite confident. You are feeling quite confident. Um, feeling good about yourself. Um, yeah. I think that you are making moves and potentially there could be a certain special somebody that you kind of want to talk to or you are talking to. Well, you've started talking to and you're kind of uh yeah you're feeling good you're feeling good about that of course you're overthinking it a little bit but that's what you do you've got to be sure you have got to be sure especially when it comes to matters like this might not be uh romantic as in you know a successful relationship but it's definitely something that's piqued your interest um definitely something that's got your attention could be a friendship could be a relationship could be a lover, could just be somebody that has a similar interest to you. Um, but I do feel that that person potentially is more likely the opposite sex than they are the same sex. Um, and I think that you're quite happy about this. I feel that you've, um, you kind of discuss things with this person and you're quite eager to make things move. I think you're quite quick to plant some seeds you want to get to know this person and you want them to notice you as well. You want them to notice you. You want to be noticed. Maybe you've not met someone, but you want to. Maybe you're starting to think, hmm, I wouldn't mind having somebody to go home to. I wouldn't mind somebody to message me a good morning message. Because you're feeling quite confident. You want to go into this year and you want to feel wanted and desired. You want to feel passion. An adventure. And maybe you are in a relationship. And maybe that's 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 going really well. Maybe the relationship that you are in is actually going quite well. And I, I only say that in a kind of surprised way because you yourself are quite happy about this. Where you've gone, oh, this is a nice change. This is a nice change. Someone's actually quite decent here. Someone's actually been quite nice. Things are actually quite nice. Whether it's just a friend or a lover or... A group of uh, peers around you, colleagues or whatever. You feel quite accepted. You're feeling quite accepted for who you are. And that's brought you into this place here. 
Well, you want to move forward. You want things to happen. This looks like this looks very passionate. Horses are very passionate people. They wear their hearts on their sleeve. Um, and yeah, you want you want to move into something here. You are feeling uh, frisky, my rooster people. Feeling a little bit frisky. I feel like you're feeling quite confident with this in a dominant kind of I'm in charge, I'm in control of my destiny kind of way. I feel like you're ready to take the lead, take control. You want to start moving forward and you're ready to you're ready to commit. You're ready to you are ready to take those reins. You are ready to hit the Oregon Trail and you are ready to basically just yeah make this happen you don't care about critics right now you don't care about much right now to be fair because you haven't got time for arguments in fact right now it looks like you are moving away from the critical people and the argumentative uh, argumentative kind of people because you want that adventure you want new you want new freedom and activities you want new challenges you want you want something different yeah, you want to, yeah, it looks like you want to move forward out of the place that you were into a new place, a more exciting place, a new you, a more exciting you. You want to be unconventional. You want to turn heads. Yeah, you are, you are wanting speed and you are wanting progress. That's what you are thriving for right now. You are, you are, you're, 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 you're striving for that. Sorry. You are striving for that speed and progress. And that horse is going to pull you out of this. It's going to it's going to rip you into next week because you're you're wearing your heart on your sleeve and you are running full gallop. But but be aware, my little chicken friends, could there well be a weasel in that hen coop? Let's find out. It's not a weasel. It's a bloody tiger. So. What does this mean? Negative tiger coming in. We've got some emotional cards here. We've got some love, like lovey dovey cards here. The tiger, very emotional, very kind of attached to his uh, emotions and intuition. Very kind of lovey dovey, very kind of wear, wearing their hearts on their sleeves, just like that horse person. I mean, it is a negative. So potentially, I don't see a rejection per se. I don't think you're going to get rejected. I just think it's not going to be as you as you wanted. You are ready to jump straight into it. You are ready to gallop full speed ahead. But you weren't rejected, but you weren't snapped up either. You weren't quickly scooped up. And that's what you were kind of hoping for. You were kind of, ha you were kind of hoping for hot passion. And uh, what you got was kind of like a damp cloth. And now you're a little bit miffed by that. Um, or at least you're going to be. Hate to bring the bad news. You're in a good place at the moment. If you move forward, which you're going to do anyway, that's inevitable. You are going to do it. And I'm not going to tell a rooster what they should and shouldn't do. I'm not even that brave. But if you do do this, don't go in with don't go in with high expectations. Keep those expectations low, reasonable, and realistic. Um, I think you could find, I think, they were, like I say, I don't think there's going to be a rejection. I think there could be a really good friendship here or relationship here. It's just going to be very frustrating and irritating for you at the beginning because it's not moving as fast as you want it to. And I think things are going to change depending on what day of the week it is. It's going to fluctuate back and forth, hot and cold, yes and no, up and down, left and right. That's the way it's going to be. And I think that's going to irk you a little bit. You're going to be a little bit, what's going on? I started off centre stage here. I started off at the top. I was ready to move forward. And now you're telling me that I've got to wait. Now you're telling me that I'm falling over. Now you're telling me that there's something in the way. You don't want perfect. You're not looking for perfect. This definitely is not going to be perfect. But you just want you just want to be able to understand what's going on. Or understand this person. Because you've been charmed by them. You've been charmed by them. And they've drawn you in. You don't care if they're perfect or not. But it is going to upset you that you can't learn everything you want to learn about them as quickly as you can it's going to upset you that they're not opening up as quickly as you want them to give them time give them time have some patience don't make a mountain out of a molehill do not be persistent and insist on this is how you need to do it don't be 
don't be that guy don't put pressure on 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 this person or or the situation you know view the big picture look at look at everything make sure you're looking at the jigsaw box before you start trying to put the pieces together you know start with those corner pieces okay rooster people um start with the corner people uh, corner pieces start with the edges move your way in slowly make sure you're looking at the picture make sure you're getting a good idea of the whole picture as well not just the little bits that you want to see don't don't just don't just cherry pick don't just pick all the good bits out because that's what's going to happen here you're going to start to pick out pick out all the cherry cherry bits and you're going to think everything is great and everything's going all fantastic and then you're going to find out that those cherries are sour or those cherries have pips and although that's not a game changer and it's not the biggest red flag in the world it is going to be something that's going to put a downer on things and i think you're going to sulk about this you're going to sulk sulk next week you're going to be a little bit sulky and uh that's okay that's okay you can sulk everybody's entitled to a good sulk um, but you'll pull yourself out of it because you're a rooster and that's what roosters do and most of you won't even admit that you're sulking you're just going to get on with it but you'll know deep down and uh, as you start to move forward i do think that you're going to come out of this the tiger isn't incompatible with you so i do feel like even if it's not a relationship you're going to have a good friend from this if it's not what you expected it's still going to be something good i just don't think it's going to be everything that you want it to be and that's why i'm here to tell you that right now to not get your expectations and hopes up because you are just going to set yourself up and let yourself down luckily though you are a rooster so the higher you go the further you fall but you've got wings so you can just flap on down and your your hitting the floor is going to be a lot less disappointing than most other signs so have a sulk about it but don't give up okay don't give up and we'll see where you are next week because we'll be back next week for another rooster reading next friday afternoon so make sure you hit that subscribe button give us a like give us a comment and let me know what you think and i will see you tomorrow when we do the last two signs of the week which will be the dog and the pig you have a fantastic a fantastic rest of the day guys thank you for watching